Right now we are on the race to restore power as crews continue to deal with those power outages this morning. Plus, as residents clean up the mess, the storms left behind, how to protect yourself from a common scam. And temperatures out there in the lower to mid 50s. Cross Plains sitting cooler at 49, though we'll talk about if this trend's going to continue. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. Yep, yeah, crews still out there trying to restore power after those storms earlier this week and clean up some of those uh, fallen trees and brush that we've seen near the roads as well. Yeah, so we'll get to some of those closures and the race to restore power here in just a moment. First, let's get an update on the conditions out there right now. Good morning, Savannah. Good morning, guys. Temperatures are near normal, but it's definitely cooler than what we just have seen the last couple of mornings. But temperatures out there for the most part, lower 50s. But Cross Plains, like I just mentioned, was sitting a little bit cooler. They're only at 49 this morning. Madison dropped to 51. We're now back up to 52, 50 in Wanakee and 53 in Oregon. Temperatures outside Dane County, pretty similar. Couple of 40s, mid to upper 40s, the rest of us. And for the most part, we're checking into the 50s lower to mid 50s. Nothing on the radar, but that is going to change as early as tomorrow after a pleasant to Thursday afternoon. Temperatures are going to be mild, make it into the mid to upper 70s, and then we're going to see sunshine. Lots of that today, but then storms return tomorrow, especially the late afternoon, early evening. No alert day, but we could see some stronger wind gusts and then also a couple of stronger storms out there. After that, temperatures definitely going to cool down for your weekend. We're only talking about probably the lower 70s for for Saturday, the first half of the weekend, and dry, but then also another storm chance returns for Sunday, and temperatures, guys, are going to be back to below normal, probably only the mid-60s. How about that on Sunday? Hey, not too bad. All right, thanks, Savannah. Now to continuing coverage of the storm recovery. First, some news just into our newsroom. Madison schools are going to be in session today. They were closed yesterday because of the storm's impact. Again, all Madison Metro schools are going to be open today. We just got that confirmed in the past few minutes. Uh, so this is happening as power crews are working to get the lights back on for everyone. That's right. Thousands of Madison customers, though, are still in the dark this morning. Here's a live look at MGNE's outage map. You can see that many of the outages in the Madison area are in line in the line of the isthmus there. Uh, just over 6,000 customers still without power on this Thursday morning. We will continue to provide updates throughout the morning. The biggest challenges for power crews are broken poles and down power lines, which can take a long time to fix. At its peak, the utility says there were more than 250 different outages affecting nearly 50,000 customers. This morning, less than 15% of those customers are without power. We also really want to get at the outages that are going to bring the most customers back back into service. So if if there's a, a circuit that was impacted that's affecting a couple thousand customers, that's going to be a priority. And, and, and unfortunately for someone who happens to be in an outage that's only affecting themselves or, or you know, a, a half dozen other customers, that, that one's going to take a little longer to get to. MGE and e has also called in reinforcements from other utilities and contractors in other states to help out. Well, the cleanup from the storms continues this morning. Here's a look at what some residents are dealing with looking to clear out. There's building debris, fallen trees, and other brush down as well. And now some people out there are looking to take advantage of this situation. If you get a knock on your door from someone looking to help you with storm cleanup, you should be aware. There are two big types of scams to watch out for after a storm like this. In some cases, a company will give you a quote for some work. Then once they've done some of that work, try to raise the price on you. In other instances, they don't even do any work at all. Those businesses uh, we are most concerned with tend to be from out of state. They swoop in, follow a storm. They will knock on uh, doors uh, within a neighborhood and promise to assist with cleanup. Um, they will ask for money up front. Um, they'll say they'll be back later in the day when really they're collecting those down payments and then disappearing. So how can you avoid scams like these? Well, the easiest way is to stick to people you know and trust, whether that's a contractor you've used in the past 
or someone local with a good reputation. The damage in Dane County lighter than what other parts of the state are dealing with. The National Weather Service confirmed six tornadoes touched down across the state Tuesday night in western Wisconsin. Tornadoes struck Arcadia, Cochrane, and an area near Augusta. Others were touching down in Edgar, in uh, Unity, in Marathon County, and Kakana in southeast Atagami County. All six tornadoes were EF1s, which is the second weakest classification. That means wind speeds were between 86 and 110 miles an hour and could cause moderate damage. And that's part of the wider storm system that's happening across the country. Parts of Texas, Arkansas, and Oklahoma were hit especially hard with heavy rains and large hail and tornadoes. And now here's a look at southwestern Iowa. That's the damage in Greenfield from one of more than a dozen tornadoes that hit the state. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds issued a disaster declaration for the state and is working with the White House on a federal disaster declaration. Taking a live look now at the U.S. Capitol, where senators will vote today on the Bipartisan Border Act. It's the second attempt this year to pass major immigration reform legislation. Senator Tammy Baldwin has spoken in favor of the bill, while Senator Ron Johnson has opposed it. The bill is likely to hit a more massive roadblock in the House. Republican leadership in that chamber calling the bill, quote, dead on arrival. Well, if you're planning on traveling by plane this Memorial Day weekend, get ready for some crowded and busy airports. The FAA predicts this is going to be the most traveled Memorial Day weekend in 14 years. Nearly 54,000 flights are taking off today. The TSA expects to screen 18 million people in the coming seven days. That'd be a 6% increase compared to last year. You know, it's something we talk about a lot, you know, around these big, big, busy holiday weekends, massive air travel, but it seems like we say it quite a bit, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's always a storyline around right. the holidays, right? Uh, I, it's true. It's true. A lot of people yeah. are going to be traveling out there. So yeah. if that's going to be you, get in line early, get yeah. to those airports early, right? Yeah, we're thinking of you if you have to fly anywhere. <laughs> that's right. All right, 606, let's check in with Savannah, see what's coming up in the forecast. Hey, Savannah. Guys, we're tracking a beautiful Thursday ahead, and then storm chances going to make a return by tomorrow. We'll talk about the threats we could see out there the afternoon and evening Friday. And coming up, we hear from Madison College's baseball team as they head to the Junior College World Series. And we are live in the 608 this morning talking summer fun at Warner Puck, or Park. rather. I am right here on the pitcher's mound, and we're going to talk about the Madison Mallards kicking things off next week. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, brought to you by Toyota. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can capture all the moments that make summer, summer. Like driving a RAV4 to wade in a waterfall. Nice. Cruising to play mini golf in a Camry. <laughs> or taking a Tundra to the beach. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? <laughs> right now, you can lease a sporty new Toyota RAV4 for $309 a month. See your local Toyota dealer today, or visit toyota.com to learn more. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Hansons knows what your home means to you. It's where you feel safe, comfortable, protected. And of course, no other place provides you with as much joy. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are all backed by our guarantee. So you can feel happy in your home for years to come. With professional installation and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Exceeding homeowners' expectations for over 30 years. Get 60% off installation with high-quality craftsmanship you can count on. Or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. From windows to roofing to siding to gutters to bathtubs and showers, no one's got you covered like we do. Call one Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Cliff Bar is made with organic oats. But you're made for the climb. Cliff, the most important ingredient is you. 
Marabou Furniture and Mattress is now open with an acre of quality furniture in our beautiful new showroom. We're celebrating with a huge store-wide Memorial Day sale. Save up to 60% on many items store-wide. Over a million dollars of quality name brands on display, including Flex Steel, Best, England, Spring Air, Amish Furniture, and much more, all on sale. Get special 24-month free financing. All credit welcome. Hurry in today to the huge store-wide Memorial Day sale at Baraboo Furniture and Mattress. At Spectrum, we know that internet is a vital tool to help you fulfill your dreams. My dream is to become a video game developer. My dream is to get my online college degree. Unfortunately, federal funding for the Affordable Connectivity Program is ending. That's why Spectrum designed affordable internet and mobile solutions to keep you connected. We are committed to delivering reliable, affordable internet and unlimited mobile to keep you connected to what matters most to you. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Time to see what's going on in the 608. Hey, we got an uh, early kickoff to the Madison Mallards 2024 season. That's right. Our Josh Prider is live at the Duck Pond this morning with the preview. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Already sporting my new Mallards hat for the 2024 season here. And we're actually on the infield, which you're going to notice is brand new this year. This is one of the new things that folks are going to notice here at the Duck Pond this year. Sam Rubin is the general manager here. Sam, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Oh, my gosh. It's hard to believe that we're talking I know. Uh, summer fun here I know. again. You guys are ready for it. We're ready. I mean, the turf is done. Um, we're so excited to be able to play both Mallards and Nightmares games here on the field. Um, but also the big thing is our brand new Zimbrick Honda video board. It's 90 feet long, 20 feet tall. It is three and a half times of what we used to have, which is just a total game changer for our fan experience. Um, and we're just so excited to be able to release that to our fans. Yeah, you just flipped that puppy on and I was like, holy <laughs> cow, that is a big change. Yeah, it's huge. And it's so cool. We did this really cool release video and our our marketing team counted how many wieners could fit in here with because that's our big thing here with the mallards and how many maynards can fit in baseballs and softballs and it's impressive it's like twenty five thousand baseballs or something like that wow. can fit in this board um i think it's over 1500 square feet it's insane it's just insane to be able to see it come to life and we're just so excited for it you guys are all about the fan experience here totally. and you've been working for years to really make this what it should be here yeah. in our community yeah and this video board and the turf will create that opportunity. I think the video board, obviously, there's more fun stuff that we can be doing on it. Um, but for the turf, we're able to open the turf up to the community a little bit more and do more festivals and do more youth tournaments. We can actually adjust the size of the field so that we can play youth tournaments and youth games on here. Um, we used to just kind of throw down a base and that was how we were set. There was not much we could do. So we now have the portable mound as well. So we can put the mound on the field for baseball, remove it for softball. So it really opens the opportunity up for the entire Madison area. So baseball, as far as Madison Mallards, they kick off on Tuesday this Tuesday. year. So what do people need to know for the home opener? May 28th, it's at 530. Um, Tuesday after Memorial Day, we have the duck blind open. We have everything that's open here at the ballpark. We're just so excited. There's so many other new things that are around the ballpark, too. Um, between just hospitality, flooring, and upgrades, all of the things for the fan experience and for people to really come check them out. And then a couple weeks after that, the Madison Nightmares, you yes. guys are going to be busy. Well, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, Sam, thank you so much for having us out yeah. this morning and good luck this season. Yeah, thank you. If you'd like to learn more about what's happening here at the Duck Pond, you can go to the story up on channel3000.com. I also have a link to tickets still available for the home opener. Again, that is on Tuesday, boys. Hey, Josh, real quick, just a quick follow-up for you. Did we get a confirmation on how many wieners are on that scoreboard, can fit on that scoreboard? <laughs> Oh, gosh. I'm surprised you weren't paying attention more. <laughs> There's a lot of wieners. I just, remember I just wanted to, just wanted to <laughs> circle back a lot to that. of wieners. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Josh. The important stuff here on the program. It's a big board. <laughs> okay, we got to stop before we get fired. Okay. Hey, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. It could be a wide range of topics.
We'd like to have some fun. You can reach out right. on social media or email them for a chance to God, be featured. We're just a bunch of boys at heart, aren't we? Come on. Right. <laughs> Let's check in with Savannah. Uh, she's got to look at your first warm forecast. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys. Good morning. Temperatures out there, for the most part, warming up a little bit. We're at 52 in Madison, so across Dane County, lower few mid-50s to 54 in Oregon, 54 in Perry, 51 in Mount Horeb. But outside Dane County, we are seeing across southern Wisconsin similar temperatures. Lone Rocks at 40. 48, Watoma at 46, Sheboygan's at 50 degrees, but we're going to warm up pretty quickly. Winds are going to remain light today, but as we get into tomorrow, that's when winds are going to increase. So by 8 a.m. temperatures in the mid 60s, by 10 a.m. pushing the 70 degree mark temperatures or winds out of the south going to help boost temperatures that by later this afternoon. Don't think we're going to see any showers and for the most part, mostly sunny skies. I do think we could see a couple fair weather cumulus clouds develop as we get into the afternoon. Those should move out out of here tonight expecting mostly clear skies and then temperatures falling in the mid to upper 50s could hang on to a couple 60s any morning shower chances that's going to weaken and they are going to fizzle out as they travel eastward I do think watch what futurecast does kind of uh, completely lets them diminish as they travel Madison and then eastward tomorrow though late afternoon into the evening that could be a different story not alert day conditions but I do think we're going to have to look out for a couple of stronger storms that are going to produce some heavy rain rains and then also some gusty winds. So winds are going to be the big thing with any storms that we do see tomorrow. So say 5, 530, Lone Rock, Bosco, Bell, Prairie du Chien, those then going to make its way to Madison and then moving eastward already as we're pushing about 738. So it's not going to uh, say affect your entire Friday evening. Those are going to move out of here. Drying us up actually for Friday, the rest of the night, overnight hours we clear out, should start the day Saturday morning with mostly sunny skies. Here's the severe weather threat for tomorrow, Janesville and Monroe at a slight risk and then in Madison northward marginal risk. Both these lower level, nothing compared to what we saw just on Tuesday, but I do think we could see a couple of stronger storms. And again, really highlighting the stronger or gusty winds we're going to see. That'll be the big thing out of the storms that we do see tomorrow afternoon. Saturday and Sunday, falling temperatures for your Memorial Day weekend. Saturday only 72. That is near normal, though. We're down to 65 Sunday, back up to 69, though, on Monday. Couple more shower chances return Sunday into Memorial Day on Monday. At this point, it's almost become automatic that Madison College Baseball will finish their season at the NJCAA World Series. This year is their sixth straight trip, and as Andrew Banster found out, the Wolfpack plan to add another piece of hardware to their winning culture. Another year and another pack, packing their bags for a trip to Oklahoma. We've been lucky enough to do it enough to get to go that I just, uh, I would legitimately feel bad for any kid that shows up here and doesn't get to go. A 13-hour bus trip to their second home for their sixth straight appearance in the College World Series. It's hard to come here on a tour and not see all the World Series years on the wall. Um, it's definitely our goal to get there, but we don't forget about all the work that it takes. Work that started on day one so that Madison College can keep their winning culture intact. You know, fall meeting always starts with, uh, hey guys from last year, how was it? Awesome. All right, it's over. Uh, this is a new group, and what we did last year has got very little to do what happens this year. Yet for all of their trips to the CWS, it has been 25 years since the last time they won a national title. We'd love to have the big dog pile, and we've been pretty close. And uh, I say often that this school deserves a championship at the Division II level, and I uh, hope this group can do that. A championship dream. That'd be awesome, especially for Coach D. I mean, he's been here for a while now, and man, it would be really awesome for to get one for him. Coach D deserves it, but um, this program deserves it as well, as, as does the school. Um, they take care of us, and it would mean in the atone. That the Wolfpack are swinging at together. In Madison, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. It's a fastball that Rubber match between the Brewers and Marlins. Frey Peralta on the mound for Milwaukee. He went seven strong, striking out seven. Only problem was his fifth pitch of the game. Jazz Chisholm took him deep, and that would be the game winner. Brewers fall 1-0 the final. Division II regional softball. Mount Horeb hosting Sauk Prairie. Vikings swept the Eagles in the regular season and got off to a good start. Gina Reiner sneaks one under the glove to put the home team up 1-0 in the first inning. Now it's still 1-0 in the third. Two on for Reiner, and this time... 
she becomes a member of the bomb squad. The three-run shot puts Mount Hora above 4 nothing. They move on with a 10 nothing win. And for the sixth straight season, Giannis is a member of the All-NBA First Team. The Bucks' big man averaged 30 points, 11.5 rebounds, and 6 assists per game while shooting a career-best 61% from the field this season. And that's it for Morning Sports. Have a great day. Thank you, Zach. Well, year two of the Luke Fickle era of Badger football is just a few months away. Ticket, uh, season tickets are now on sale. Uh, this season, the Badgers are going to have some big-time home games, including one against Alabama. We're also hosting Oregon and Penn State. Season tickets start at $399 a person. If you're interested, you can uh, call the Wisconsin Ticket Office at 608 262 1440. All right, still ahead this morning, the top 10 in Apple Music's best 100 albums list. And coming up in our next half hour, uh, I investigate why former residents of a Marine Corps base who were exposed to toxic drinking water are not being approved for compensation. And as we had to break on this Thursday morning, we're taking a look at gas prices here across the state and across the country. Back after this. Firstborn weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. Save big. During our Made in the USA sale. Featuring hardwood Amish products. And lifetime cushion warranty sofas. Manufactured locally in the USA. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or get 57.50 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Save on new Champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel, Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. Plenty of slots calling your name, table games too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel, Clinton. You'd rather be here. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. During our Made in the USA sale. Featuring hardwood Amish products. And lifetime cushion warranty sofas. Manufactured locally in the USA. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Gwen shared her morning with us of a beautiful looking flower that she tells us is. Got it. Ready? Wild, sweet, purple anemone. All right. How'd I do? Yeah. Thanks, Gwen. We we'll always need Beautiful flowers. that information because uh, <laughs> we don't always know. That's a pretty one, though. Yeah. We know some things, not flowers <laughs> or birds.
right. Shane, what are we talking about? We do know music, though, darn it. At least I like to think we do. Yeah. Well, we're talking about it because <laughs> Apple Music is revealing its top 100 best albums list. Coming yeah. in at number one, the great Lauryn Hill's 1998 album, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. That came in at number one. Great year, by the way. Michael Jackson's 1982 <laughs> album, Thriller, came in at number two. And 1969's Abbey Road by the Beatles, my favorite album of all time. That rounds out the top three. Of course, a lot of debate surrounding this. The rest oh, of the top yeah. 10 also included albums by Prince, Frank Ocean, Stevie Wonder, Kendrick Lamar, Amy Winehouse, Nirvana, and Beyonce. Apple Music calls the list a modern 21st century ranking of the greatest records ever made. There are so many. I, like, you, you think about it, like 100 albums, that's a lot of albums. A lot of artists should be able to make it into the top 100. Mm -hmm. So many, though, did not uh, and, and when it comes down to it, th this is pretty rarefied air. I mean, this is an yeah. exclusive list. Yeah, and it's something we've been talking about since last hour when we talked about this story. You know, we're talking about bands like Queen and Pearl Jam not on there. The country music genre really not represented, not represented at represented very well at all. Um, the top ten, of course, could be debated quite a bit. Uh, it's, it is interesting. It is interesting to be, you know, included in this. I think it's part of a legacy for sure. But right. you think about so many great albums that weren't included. And of course, at the end of the day, it's all subjective. Totally. Totally. Absolutely. So, like, there were just a, a handful of artists, maybe three, that had more than one album yep. in the top Beyonce, 100. Beyonce, The Prince, Beatles. Beatles. And, yeah. yeah, Prince, uh, yeah. So, there you go. Debate it amongst yourselves. <laughs> That's right. Drop us some comments somewhere. All right, let's check in with Savannah now. She's got a look at your first one forecast. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys. The bus stop forecast looking good. Might need a jacket early this morning. Not going to need that as temperatures climb later in the day. Close to 80. Lots of sunshine. All right. Keep it here. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It can bear over 4,000 times its own weight. And that's just the door hinge. Sturdy design down to the smallest detail, the Taos. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get 0% APR financing or a $1,500 customer bonus on a new 2024 Taos. Experience the Channel 3000 news app today. Tailored for your news the way you want it. With a customizable home page and faster page loads, download the Channel 3000 news app. Powered by News 3 Now. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. You've got this. Your big moment on their big day. The dress? Another one you'll never wear. Gift? Practical. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with early pay on direct deposits. So when you get invited to your third destination wedding in as many months, we'll be there with you. When we first met Todd, we thought Jen was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you've got this with Associated Bank. It's our Spring Envy Flooring Sale, plus special financing to make your projects a reality. Our talented interior designers at H&R Carpets and Flooring take you through each step. On sale now at H&R Carpets and Flooring, Wanaki. Celebrate Memorial Day at Brothers Maine, where unbeatable appliance deals come with expert advice. Enjoy special prices and free delivery on top brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid. Visit us today and feel like family at Brothers Maine. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn 
in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Mello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. The Jetta received a five-star overall safety rating, so if you stars get in, we could also say it has a five-star interior. I don't think so. Okay. I thought it was a good idea. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get 2.9% APR financing or a $1,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Jetta. Right now, an update on the effort to bring back thousands of customers power here in Wisconsin and an update on cleanup damage. Deny and we deny these families constantly and that's what we should worry about. Plus toxic water denial. News 3 Now investigates a federal program meant to cover care for veterans families. It does feel a little chillier than yesterday morning. We're sitting about 10 degrees cooler. We'll talk about if that pattern's going to change at all coming up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, gosh, it's still clean up out there. Yeah. Still power outages to contend with. Uh, we know Madison schools are going to be back in session this morning. That's right. Uh, so that's an update that we learned uh, not too long ago. On the conditions out there, Savannah Brito is tracking a bit cooler weather for us on this Thursday. Hey there. Hey guys, yeah, that's the story this morning. Cooler temperatures. It's beautiful outside, though. We don't really have any clouds to talk about, so it will stay mostly sunny and temperatures are going to be quick to warm up. Right now, we're in the 50s for the most part, 53 in Middleton, 52 in Madison. So temperatures slowly warming up. Once we head into the next hour or two, that's when temperatures are really going to start warming up further than what we're seeing. Couple 40s out there, too. 46 in Black River Falls, 49 just in Bosco Bell to our west, but everyone else is pretty much sitting in the mid to lower 50s out there. Couple upper 50s, that was the case a couple hours ago, but temperatures falling south of here in Janesville and Monroe. But like I said, warming up pretty quickly, 70 already by 10 a.m., and then we're going to be in the mid to upper 70s for the most part by the afternoon. Dry today, but that is going to quickly change by tomorrow after a pleasant Thursday afternoon. Could be tracking some stronger storms once again. Nothing severe, not going with alert day, Conditions. But guys, I do think we'll have to look out for a couple stronger storms tomorrow afternoon, evening, and they, those would produce some pretty gusty winds. All right, keeping an eye on that tomorrow. Savannah, thank you. This morning, thousands of people in the Madison area are still without power. Madison Gas and Electric says at its peak, Tuesday night storms caused outages to more than 46,000 customers. It's one of the largest outages in the utility's history. We're monitoring MGE's outage map. Last night, MGE told us about. 80% of customers who lost power after Tuesday night storms have it restored, but still this morning about 6,000 customers are in the dark. MGE &E says the biggest challenges to restoration are broken poles and down lines. We're seeing widespread damage to our area from those storms. Our crews captured video of the damage and received pictures and video from our viewers as well. Crews also have been out assessing, clearing some of that damage since Tuesday but much of it won't be cleared until next week. There are some rule changes for brush drop-off sites as well that you should be aware of. The brush drop-off sites at Sycamore and South Point, which are typically closed on Wednesdays, will be open next Wednesday, May 29th. You can drop off brush anytime between 7.30 in the morning till 7 at night. You will need proof of residency or taxpayer status. The city is allowing residents to make multiple trips to sites for dr brush drop-off uh, brush only until June 1st. In Middleton, crews will start picking up debris Tuesday morning. That's happening at 7 a.m. Tree limbs or branches should not exceed six inches in diameter, and you shouldn't put these things in the street. You should make sure that all that debris is parallel to the curb. Middleton says crews will collect debris as long as there's a need in the area. As for the roads, Madison says the goal is to have all blockages removed by 7 o'clock tonight. We know damage blocked about 150 roads in the city. It's not clear how many of those are open as of this morning, but again, they're trying to get everything back open by 7 o'clock tonight. We do have an update on the Fitchburg road closures. Highway B still closed from Lawler Road to County Highway Double M. Access to Seminole Highway from Croy Drive also remains closed. Fitchburg PD says there are multiple fallen trees and down power lines. MGE is working to clear the roads as soon as possible, but you should avoid these areas if it your morning commute takes you through those areas. As recovery efforts in our area continue, we are learning more about the storm's effects in other part of the state as well. 
The National Weather Service is confirming multiple tornadoes touched down throughout Wisconsin. Officials say three tornadoes took place in western Wisconsin, one in Arcadia, one in Cochran, and one near Augusta. NWS Green Bay says there were three in the eastern and central parts of the state as well. One in Edgar and Unity. Those happened in Marathon County. Another in Kaukauna and out of Gamey County. All of those were EF1 tornadoes, meaning they had wind speeds of 86 to 110 miles per hour. All of our coverage on the storms and updates on brush collection, road reopenings, and power outages is available on our website and on the free Channel 3000 mobile app. 634 here. This week, President Biden announced the federal government has approved 1 million claims to veterans exposed to toxic materials. That includes veterans exposed to toxic water at a marine base in North Carolina. In a News 3 Now investigation, I learned family members who live there are having a harder time getting approved. Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. It's where thousands of America's Marines have trained as far back as World War II, but its legacy is stained by its toxic drinking water. It's estimated that more than a million people from 1953 to 1987 were exposed, including the families of Marines based there. The effects are felt today in small towns across the nation, like Sauk City, Wisconsin. It hasn't been easy. It's been a long, hard road. Oops. Veteran Dennis Vopi doesn't get out much anymore. His routine keeps him home. I'm sorry, this is what I do. Not for him. Good morning, honey. For her. You waking up? Mm -hmm. We just knew that my wife was having all sorts of medical issues and the doctors couldn't seem to find out what tied it all together. That's my girl. Dennis has never been That's to Camp girl. Lejeune, but his wife Judith lived there with her first husband. When Judith and Dennis married, they were happy and healthy. She was a champion debater and we would discuss various things and I could never win a debate. And that was a challenge to me, but I just love the woman. Here comes breakfast. When Judith's health took a drastic turn for the worse 14 True. years ago, Dennis retired to take care of his wife full time. I made a, a promise, a vow. And I'm trying to live up to that. Sorry. Then Dennis learned there was a federal program to compensate sick Camp Lejeune family, so he dug up every document and record for Judith needed to file a claim. I have spent 14 months reaching out to everybody, finding medical records of my wife in the past, certified marriage certificates, divorce certificates, birth certificates to prove that she was there. Talk to doctors and say, would you please help me fill out these forms that the VA has to have? For the government to approve Judith's medical care through the Camp Lejeune Family Member Program, Dennis needed to prove that she lived there and then prove she had one of the 15 qualifying conditions. The VA ruled Judith is administratively eligible. Dennis included over 400 pages of medical records with their application, but the VA denied all three of their claims. The worst part of this whole thing is they're not taking responsibility for it. They're fighting it. The explanation from the VA says that her conditions came on too late and they could have been caused by something else. Don't choke on me, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Dennis and Judith are not alone. Since 2015, the VA has denied over 2,300 family applications. It approved 3,400, paying out more than $15 million in claims, an average of less than $4,500 per case. We deny and we deny these families constantly, and that's what we should worry about. Sandy Dyke with the Sauk County VA helped Dennis and Judith with all the paperwork. When you look at the program and what it does and doesn't do, is it really helping our veterans' families? But it's supposed to. It is. It's supposed mm -hmm. to serve these families. So what's wrong? It's the interpretation, um, the people reading like i said any examiner that re-examines the paperwork can write no there you go Chew. for now dennis continues to care for his wife and is appealing the va's denials i have held back my temper through this because it's not going to do my wife any good but my temperament is just about run to its limit this is wrong the Camp Lejeune Family Medical Program has the attention now of Senator Tammy Baldwin. Her office is trying to apply some pressure on government agencies 
to get help for Dennis and Judith, but also others in the state who have been denied. Savannah? We are taking a look at moderate moderate um, heavy rainfall. That's what we're tracking tomorrow with the potential of some gusty winds. That's our big thing, but guys, no need for alert day conditions. And hello from the Duck Pond this morning. We're checking out what's new for 2024, including the worst Wienermobile. A closer look next. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Gravely and Aaron's Power Equipment. Acre after acre, year after year, Gravely and Aaron's can help you get the job done right. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. Get an 11% rebate on everything for your garden at Menards. Start your garden off right with quality seeds for Burpee. Choose from over 450 varieties of flowers, vegetables, and herbs. Right now, all Burpee seed packets are on sale. Plus, get an 11% rebate. Finish your garden with terrace board landscape edging. It's easy to install and blocks the spreading of grass and weeds. A 40-foot roll of terrace board edging is $14.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes and I did this to my father. We we were at home so we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you we were so excited in under 10 minutes they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines and not only does it work on the bags it works on the appearance of crow's feet fine lines and wrinkles this memorial day is the best time to try plexiderm at our startup price of only 14 dollars 95 your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Gravely and Aaron's Power Equipment. Acre after acre, year after year, Gravely and Aaron's can help you get the job done right. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. The nation's top call for action team is going strong at News 3 Now. With more than 160 cases closed and over $444,000 recovered. If you need help moving forward, call for action only on News 3 Now. When severe storms threatened our area Tuesday. Winds between 55 to 65 miles per hour. We brought you wall-to-wall -wall team coverage with the information you needed to be prepared and stay safe. Get to the lowest, most interior portion of your home. News 3 Now. First warned weather. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. We're back here, 642 on your Thursday. It's a real treat for us to have a couple of guests in the studio this morning. Ashley Hagen, now the current Alice in Dairyland, and Haley Heinzel, who will take over this summer. Welcome. Thanks Thank for being you. here, guys. Thank yes. you for having us. Yes. Thank you so much. So exciting here. <laughs> so Haley, you're taking over as the new Alice in Dairyland. What are you looking forward to most? I'm really looking forward to traveling across Wisconsin and learning so much more about agriculture here in our state. We have such a diverse agriculture industry, and I'm so excited to learn a lot more about agriculture here in Wisconsin. Well, yeah. How about that? Ashley, so... You're at the tail end of your tenure yes. here. Yes. <laughs> What's been the most rewarding thing about being Alice in Dairyland? The most rewarding part for me while serving as Alice, and I'm so excited for Haley to experience this as well, is meeting the people, mm -hmm. meeting the farmers and processors and the consumers of our Wisconsin agricultural products because every interaction, every connection has offered a new opportunity for me to learn something more about Wisconsin and its mm -hmm. people, and it's been so rewarding. Yeah, it's... You're an ambassador for agriculture in this state. Have you got a chance to, to learn anything from Ashley? To are, Have you been paying attention to anything in particular, <laughs> taking anything away from, from her service and what you can bring 
this year. I really love how Ashley really connects with people and she meets so many people on her travels. I'm really, really excited to meet all those farmers and those consumers and be able to share those stories of agriculture just like Ashley does. You know, it's a real like kind of passing of the torch, right? Between yes. the two of you. So Ashley, what kind of advice or tips have you given to Haley here? Of course, my biggest piece of advice is just to be yourself mm -hmm. and really let that love for Wisconsin agriculture and its people shine through in all that you do. Authenticity goes a really long way in this role because you experience so many different things. And I know Haley is going to embody that and more in her years serving as the 77th Alice. That's all right. awesome. Well, uh, wow. congratulations to you. Yeah. Thank you so much yes. for being our 76th Alice in Dairyland. <laughs> Uh, it will, there's, I'm sure that instead of a passing of the torch, we'll do a passing of the sash at some point. I love there that. You go. Or the cheese <laughs> curd, something like that. Yes. Thank you All guys right. so much for being right, here. Haley, Thank you so Thank much. You. Best of luck. All right, in the 608 this morning, we are kicking off the Madison Mallard season. Josh Breider is live at the Duck Pond this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey, good, mo good morning, guys. Uh, so we're keeping the wiener theme going in the 608. We're in the worst wiener mobile this morning. Sam Rubin is the general manager here. And Sam, what is this all about? Because this is brand new here at the ballpark. Yeah, so this is brand new. So it's, this is our Stoddard's worst wiener mobile. And so what we'll do is we'll have a completely custom, like fans can customize whatever they want on their hot dog or their brat and we'll make it in here and serve it to them out of this thing. So um, it's so much fun. Again, we're all about fans. We're all about giving people a fun experience. Um, and it also ties into one of our rebrands this year, which is actually this logo over here. Um, we're going to rebrand to be the worst, like a bratwurst, um, <laughs> on July 27th. And our players will take the field in worst uniforms. Um, this thing will obviously be out and about, and we will... I don't know, it's just been fun to be able to roll out some of these rebrands. The rebrands are so cool because it gives an opportunity for something different yeah. for these fans, yep. right? Exactly, and so we have four this year, the worst being one of them. We have the motivational speakers, so of course the Chris Farley skin, and Chris Farley's actually from not far from the ballpark, so he's from the north side of Madison. Um, we have the Ope, which is super fun, very <laughs> Midwest, oh. and then keeping it from last year, we have the Muscalards returning, so our mix between our Muskie and a Mallard. That's so, so fun. Yeah, and so this one, we just came up with the idea of the worst, and we just kind of ran with it. We were like, okay, what else can we put around the ballpark that has to do with Bratwurst? Because they sell, obviously, so well, um, and so to be able to make it completely custom in here is going to be really fun. Well, and they sell well, particularly here in Wisconsin, yes, too. Yes, absolutely. So, obviously, the Mallards open up this coming Tuesday this yes. year. So, what do people need to know for the home opener? Uh, May 28th, next Tuesday, we have, or this coming Tuesday, I guess, um, 5.30 first pitch. So, gates will open at 4.30. Um, we still have tickets available to the Bushlight Duck Blind. We have regular grandstand tickets as well. This cart, the worst Wienermobile, will be up and running. You can get our very first hot dog or brat served out of this thing. Um, we just have so much fun stuff, brand new video board, new furniture, new, new flooring, just all sorts of things to elevate the fan experience. Freshening things up here. At the We're trying, house. yeah. And then, of course, the Madison Nightmares is just a couple of weeks behind, so yeah. it's going to be a busy year for you yes, guys. Yes, absolutely. But Father's Day, so June 16th for the Nightmares awesome. is our very first game there. Well, Sam, thank you so yeah. much for your time this morning. We Thanks appreciate it. If you'd like to learn more about what's happening here at the Duck Pond in 2024, you can go to the story up on Channel3000.com. Chris and Shane, we kept the wiener theme going just for you guys back in the studio. I you know, know you're uh, really interested in this. I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. Thanks. Always having fun. All right, let's get to Savannah now and look at your first one. Weather, hey, Savannah. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Thursday. Temperatures out there in the lower to mid 50s, 53 in McFarland, 52 in Madison. We were a little bit cooler. Perry sitting at one of the warmer temperatures across Dane County. They're up to 54 degrees. That's similar all across southern Wisconsin. Couple of upper 40s at this point in time, but most of us 50s out there. 52 in Watertown, 54 in Janesville. And temperatures are going to warm up very nicely and also pretty quick after a chillier start compared to the last couple of mornings out there this morning.
70 by 10 a.m. and then temperatures will be pushing the lower and mid 70s by noon lunchtime and then into two. The good news is lots of sunshine too, along with our mild temperatures. We're not going to see any rain develop today. Southerly flow is going to help boost our temperatures out there. Mid to upper 70s for all, maybe even an 80. I think that'll be more likely once we get into the coming days. And then after that, temperatures cool down a little bit both tonight and over Memorial Day weekend. We fall into the mid 50s to upper 50s. Showers that move in overnight into early Friday morning. I think all of those are going to fizzle out by the time they make its way closer to Madison and then also further east beyond that towards the lake. But anything that develops later, late afternoon, Friday and then into the early evening, that's going to stay west at about 5, 530. Travel to Madison, probably pushing 6, 630 and then out of here by about 8. We could see a couple of stronger storms tomorrow. Anything that does happen as far as strong storms go, heavy rain, downpours, and then also gusty winds. Winds are going to be the big thing along with a couple pockets of heavier showers, so no alert day conditions for tomorrow, but yes, it's going to be windy, and that will take us through the next couple of days as well for your Memorial Day weekend. So we're looking at windy conditions Saturday and Sunday too. Better chance of severe weather for tomorrow going to stay and be closer to the Wisconsin Illinois border Monroe Janesville maybe a few stronger storms but overall like I mentioned winds are going to be the big thing that's why we didn't go with an alert day for tomorrow mid to upper 70s continue tomorrow and then we cool down only at 72 for Saturday 65 on Sunday after that for Memorial Day on Monday a couple more showers Sunday into Monday but temperatures warm back close to normal that's still a few degrees below it and then we're going to be in the mid to upper or mid to lower 70s as early as Wednesday. All right, Savannah, thank you. Coming up in the morning sprint, we have an updated look at power outages across the area. If you got a little kiddo turning three soon, send us a picture. We'll show it on TV. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromChevrolet.com. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Hey, what's up with no seatbelt? <laughs> We're not going far. Just heading to town. Really? Don't worry, folks. I got this. What the? Come on, man. You're more likely to get in a crash on a shorter trip. So buckle up every trip, every time. Got it? Got it. Click it or tick it. Together, we can save lives. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid, not because of the drill, but because of the bill, a big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you, thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Life's better when you're under our roof. Your policy's updated. Because we know your house is where their dreams begin. Thanks, Kayla. And our agents are here no! to help you feel protected so your family can pursue their dreams. Hey! 
Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Family special available now at forwardmadisonfc.com. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. All MMSD schools will be open today. An official with the district confirmed that for us this morning. Classes were called off yesterday because of the dangerous conditions from Tuesday night storms. Again, all schools are going to be open today for Madison Metro. If you're an MMSD parent, you should have received a message confirming that from your school. We're also taking a live look at Madison Gas and Electric's outage map this morning. Right now, just about 6,000 customers remain without power. Last night, mg e told us more than 80% of customers who lost power now have it restored. At its peak, Tuesday night storm caused more than 40,000 mg e customers to lose power. The company says it's one of the largest outages they've experienced in recent history. We're learning more about the storm's impact on other parts of the state. The National Weather Service confirmed six tornadoes touched down in the state Tuesday. Three of those were out west in Arcadia, Cochran, and one near Augusta. Three were in eastern and central parts of the state in Edgar and Unity in Marathon County and Kakana in Outagamie County. And in Iowa, search and recovery efforts continue this morning after deadly tornadoes hit there Tuesday. At least five people are confirmed dead in the state, four of those in the small town of Greenfield, where at least 35 others were hurt. FEMA officials are expected to arrive today to survey the devastation. In Fulton, the Rock County Sheriff's Office is investigating after finding a husband and wife dead in their home. A neighbor called 911 Wednesday morning after not hearing back from the wife. Investigators say it was an isolated incident and they're not looking for any suspects. Officials have yet to release the names. The Dane County Sheriff's Office is looking for a missing inmate this morning. Deputies say Elvia Joanna Lopez was declared AWOL from the jail's diversion program Monday morning. She was last seen in the Sun Prairie area. She's cur currently serving for child neglect and there is a warrant out for her arrest. If you see her, or know where she could be, you should call the Dane County Communication Center. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says they have arrested 26-year-old Keegan Neville. They say Neville crashed his car in the town of Lewiston earlier this week, killing his 21-year-old passenger. He is facing felony charges. Today is going to be a beautiful day. Temperature is making it into the mid to upper 70s. Mild, lots of sunshine. Tomorrow could be tracking a couple of stronger storms. Not thinking they'll go severe. The better chances of that is to our south, especially along the Wisconsin-Illinois border. But we will probably see some pretty breezy conditions out there. Definitely gusty winds and then also a couple downpours. 72 Saturday, about 65 though on Sunday. Temperatures definitely cooling down ahead of Memorial Day. Monday, 69. I think we'll still stay breezy and there is another chance of rain Sunday into Monday could take us into Tuesday too then temperatures will be a little bit more mild and return to normal yeah a little cooler there for a quick stretch yeah exactly Sunday through Monday yeah. all right thank you Savannah thanks for waking up with us folks we're back with another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes